Hey guys, I am leaving Rouse after delivering all of the uh, all of the bits. How do I start this video? Let's reverse out of here first. You could probably, did you see the M3 there? You might have done. Let's get out of here first. Um, right, so this video is about respraying uh, and specifically respraying an old car and the lessons I've learned. And look, most of you, you guys are pretty mature and you've you've done this stuff already. Or you, common sense, you know. Um, but then again, I went into this with what I thought was common sense and knowing, and I was completely wrong. So, yeah, this is to help you out. Oh, this is my favorite little pull out. Oh shit, I can't have that on. Um, here we go. Ah, uh, this road, this road is famous. Um, <laughs> It's just a long stretch, a few little twists, quite bumpy, um, but you know, the restricted speed. Anyway, I was on the road, Daniel. So it's about, that's a lesson that I've learned and I'm gonna share it with you. So, I mean, I budgeted a lot of money for the car and I also, and everyone should do this as well, assumed that there would be costs as well and added like 10 15 percent it's the kind of thing you do as you get older um giving away my age or like that <laughs> when you if you're younger you don't you always try and think it'll be cheaper than it is but it's not it's it's always more it's always more every time and that's what's happened here um and it's not the paint job that's been a problem it's the little bits and pieces that need replacing. So, you gotta understand, when you respray a car, lots of trims and little bits and pieces will come off, right? When you strip the car down. Now, on a 17-year-old car like mine, it's had almost a dozen owners now. 10, 11, I'm, I'm, I'm number 11, I believe. So, a dozen owners, okay? It's had a bit of a hard life, it's had some work done, it's had some bad work done, as we have seen in previous episodes. And it's also been loved and cared for. I wish I was on the M3 right now, actually. This road is freaking awesome. Um, and I'm in the bloody boat. Yeah, it's a bit of fun. Uh, anyway, a lot of the parts uh, are brittle, have broken when removing them, were broken in the first place and were, like, bodged on like things like little door handles which you heard about in the last episode um my uh bonnet the, i don't even know what you call that like the bonnet vent that thing was all the clips were broken and it was so faded there was no uh <laughs> restoration you could do to that really um it needed replacing and the side grills the front grills because the front grills also were broken the original it's a, it's a shame because they're the originals and I wanted to keep them but and they have actually held up really well but most of the tabs are broken and when Ralph went to take them out he said that was it they're not going back in again not properly um, and again they were looking old and on a freshly painted car you can't really have old trim pieces because it really shows it shows the car it shows that it looks bad it looks bad, just put it yeah, simply. It just looks terrible. You have all this beautiful paintwork and then like, ugh, it's like off gray trim. Um, so you need to you need to think about that and budget. Now, most of the parts are quite cheap, like the, uh, the bonnet uh, part, uh, the top vent. They're only like 20 quid from BMW um, with, a, with a little bit of discount and delivery. So, I mean, that's not a lot of money, okay? But then there's other things, like the window trims, little bits that go alongside here. Insane money. Um, so I've actually, I couldn't justify it. It was outrageous. So we have 
restored them um, and done a very good job actually and we'll, we'll show you that later um, but it all just adds up and this has happened many times throughout the, the rebuild and upgrade of the car things like bolts that have sheared off and like when the uh, rod bearings were done uh, two of the uh, lollipop bush bolts uh, just completely snapped off it cost a whole day of, uh, of, of work of um, helical and the bloody things and the same thing happened again with Buddy Matt uh, when he was doing the uh, trailing arm bushes exact same problem helical those um, for you guys that don't know what helicalling is it's where they uh, drill out the original hole bigger so let's say that the bolt has snapped off and there's a bit left in there they drilled it out bigger than it was originally and you insert a piece that is of the original size and then apparently it's stronger apparently so it's not a bad thing okay if it's done properly and uh, you know Munich Legends and Matt are both pros so they really really know what they're doing um, but you, you got to think about these things because those bolts they cost money okay BMW charge a lot of money for replacement bolts so those bolts they they, they cost money they they, uh, they, they cost uh, quite a lot of money actually um, just one of their OEM bolts can easily cost anything depending on where it goes uh, from eight pounds plus fat all the way up to 26 each yeah no I'm not joking um, and it adds up it adds up and you, you guys ask again and again how much does this project cost it's cost a lot it's cost a lot more than what I originally intended it to cost um, but then I've built the car exactly how I wanted it to be yeah guys if this is recording if you ever have to fit all the camera you vloggers don't do it on the move pull over and that's what I'm doing right now set oh you're recording Okay, all right. That was a waste of time then. But it does mean I get to do this. Unleash the beast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I instantly had to slam the brakes on because that's how fast this thing is. Um, anyway, so yeah, you're asking about the budget. I can't tell you because it's still it's still going and you keep finding little pieces and and you think well while it's apart I might as well um, for example uh, my door cards uh, my door cards are off at the moment and it's got the original speakers the original BMW speakers and uh, absolutely mothered so I'm not an audiophile I mean I do like uh, I, mean, I had Bang Olufsen in my old Audi which was amazing um, I've actually had Bang Olufsen in the home as well and it was amazing. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm not that fussed because that car sounds so freaking good anyway. The, the soundtrack is the car. But um, I thought, bugger it, you know, those things are blown to hell. I mean, replace them, right? So I've got some nice quality Pioneer speakers that I bought. And they're only 30 quid. Direct fit. Replace it. And you do little thing, you know, you, you do little upgrades like that. I mean, that's not really an upgrade, I guess, but those are the kind of things that you do, and it adds up. It slowly adds up and eats into your budget. And then that's when it hurts because I've got a diff rebuild coming up, and I was going to upgrade the diff, properly upgrade the diff, big time. And now I can't afford to do it. I just can't. I can't do it. I, mean, I could, but I just, no. Since I'm going to have to be sensible now. And there's going to have to be something put on the back burner. The diff will be rebuilt. It just won't be done the way uh, I was going to do it previously. All because all these parts and all these extra expenses that I wasn't expecting have just really hit hard. Because we're running into hundreds of pounds. Seriously, hundreds of pounds of just trivial little bits. I haven't even gone through the receipts. It's just 
it's going to hurt too much. Um, so yeah, remember that. When you're rebuilding or respraying a car, those little trim pieces, they cost a lot of money. And BMW have been very... Mm, no careful what I say here. They have jacked their prices up a lot. Um, and that certainly hasn't helped. If I did this car three years ago, it probably would have cost half as much for all the, all the uh, pieces. So, yeah, that really does F me off. But that's just the way it goes, you know? I just find it funny that I can get the CSL boot of all the trimmings for £600, OEM, brand new, and then, you know, the, the window trims cost an arm and a leg. Just, just baffling. Um, but yeah, that's just the way it is. Da -da -dun, da -da -dun, da -da -dun. So yeah, that's what this video is about, extra costs. It has hit me in the gut. Um, so just, I thought I'd share that with you, I, I think that's helpful to know, right? Some of you probably didn't realise, you think, just get the car sprayed and go, no, no, absolutely not, it's, put aside a good, for extra 500 quid, I'd say, just in case. Alright guys, I'll leave it here, take care.